All right, greetings, family. This is Bomani Tamba, uh, here to share the updated organized information for our Black Star repatriation and Pan-African community in Ghana. And this is our conference call, December 8th. And our goal is to go through the information that was sent via email on the newsletter and also the uh, documentation for the land along with um, the overview and the membership uh, application. So those are three separate uh, emails. And while we're talking about all the details and update about this project, because most people have been following what we've been doing the last three months and then we have recorded the calls and put together documentation. So everything is a continuation from there um, as we just begin to organize an effort to create an opportunity where those of us who want to live and do business uh, in Ghana, we can just be in a more organized fashion. So this project is just designed for us directly uh, where we have as much flexibility in it to make it work for us. Uh, so any so previous project that we're on, for those who have committed and filled out applications already, all those things will be edited and transferred over just working on trying to get them all transferred over. So one, this conference call to just be the foundation of us getting started or moving forward. So the, the, the email I say getting started membership application and project overview, that's the clear information to get you started. So uh, process it, go through it, and then if you have any questions, you can just send an email and just request for whatever information. But we're not rushing to get the money for the land. It's more important that we get everything together and go over everything. And we can just realistically start in um, January, the beginning of the year, uh, especially Three weeks from now, we're taking a, a tour, Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour, December uh, 2019. We're going right there to the land, and we'll be able to document everything, meet with all the people we need to meet, and kind of build a stage of the documentation as far as the, you know, media stuff, pictures and videos and interviews. So all the things that we're going over in that, it should just give those who are interested in full clarity, and then we'll be, begin to get to the flow of where we can lay out how we want the community to look and put all aspects of things in it and build you know, manufacturing investment base around it because there's more land and once we get our stuff established, we'll be able to communicate with the landowner and the community to be able to just work on more focused projects. So anyone that's looking to do these big projects, we're not here to you know, push anyone off. Uh, so those who are looking to build mansions or whatever you're looking to build, there's a place in this project for all of us because what we're basically doing is putting our resources together to build a community slash town slash city where we can be productive on the African continent and you know, be able to contribute you know, to the highest level. Um, so it's unfortunate as far as repatriation and people moving to countries like Ghana is lack of organized plan and lack of operation of people being together in a union and basically lack of people who you know coming together who got each other's back. So this is what we're looking to do, and it's one of those things I'm not looking to get up and just move to Ghana, and that's never been my plan. Um, and just build a house and be there. My goal is always be to connect with people who want to build a community. Some people want something much more than just the norm, uh, and for us to work towards getting away from uh, modern day corporate slavery. You know, we can we build our own society where we aspects of all of us work different parts of it to make it thrive and make it continuous and it's something that we have to define in full clarity. Alright, so uh, investment conference call Sunday December 8th, um, Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community. So this newsletter, sometimes it look the same but uh, what you have to look for is the, the, the content. So I have, I have on the uh, newsletter this always this, the date of the next conference which we look to do uh, January uh, 20th. Uh, so that gives us a few, you know, few weeks to work on things once we finish uh, this conference call. The conference call details, and just let everyone know that uh, we have a Facebook group. Uh, it's still called the Ghana Repatriation Initiative for Nation Building, which may change uh, soon, but that's um, all dealing with uh, us coming together to build this our community. So as we show now, we see our conference call uh, topics. So, so let's uh, focus our content for Black Star Pan-African community in Ghana. No detailed explanation of what is being talked about or sent in separate email. Uh, so that's the emails I talk about. Uh, one as the membership application along with um, 
project overview or community overview. Then another one have this uh, documentation like the survey, land search, and um, deposit that was made on the land. And then you know, this uh, newsletter. Right, so the first thing we talk about uh, is just that email documents um, and that everyone knows it's, it's available via email. Uh, so please request it and if you don't have it, um, and then if you got it, just read through it, take notes and be clear because we you know, want all hands on making sure everything looks good and clear as we begin to you know, get things organized. Uh, there's no heavy rush. Uh, we're moving at a good pace and we're going to get everything done. But certain processes in Ghana is a little slowed down as far as um, land paperwork and things like that, especially this time of the year. Uh, but we have more than what, we're at, what we need right now. Uh, so um, getting started, uh, the membership application, long application, but it has all the details you need. Um, to get started, email the application, passport style photo, just one photo, just because it's a digital photo. So if we need another, if we need more, we just print it and then cut it and paste it on the application. Your passport info with signature uh, page, that one page that has your picture, your, your, your details. So that serves as your legal ID card uh, or ID information to attach to your application. National criminal background check, uh, all of these documents are required by the government of Ghana to represent your land acquisition. So uh, with the background check, uh, you just have to do it on your own. It's a nationwide background check. So once you do that, just organize it in a PDF file and send it via email along with everything else. And we have, uh, have everything organized here in you know, digital packets uh, for everyone. And then for those who was on the uh, previous project, you don't need to refill out the application or do a background check. Everyone that we literally submitted, uh, those things are all taken care of, so we still have the records of those, so we just modify it. And, and that's mainly for those who have you know, paid their full amount and they went through the process of you know, land acquisition, which we just had to you know, make another move to get to here where we just had more access to be able to do what we needed to do. Uh, three, update on legal aspects of the community survey of the initial 23 acres of land. All right, so let me go to that email. All right, so the attachments on that email is like um, I was saying, uh, the receipt for deposit on land, the plan of land detail, stamp plan of land detail, and land commission search. So once you click on land commission search, I do apologize, the paperwork is crappy and everything. Uh, my goal is to get the original when I get there. Um, that way I can rescan it and make it look real nice to give it to everyone, but to just make sure that we're in the right direction and get things going. All right, so um, once you, you can just print this one out. Uh, it's a Black Star Pan-African Community and P.O. Box 36 Winneba. So we're in the Winneba uh, district. But, uh, as far as, um, it has a few notes on there, very small to read, but the reference is made to the application search dated October 29th. So about uh, uh, five weeks out, uh, this thing has been being worked on. The search applied for against the land edge red online plant attached has been made with the following result. The site is not state land, but vested in the state by virtue of executive instrument EI. N uh, number 206 dated November 21st, 1961. The land has been good since then. Um, portion mark A is affected by a lease dated 1 February 2013 between the Ghana government, one part of the Global Revival Ministries, and other parts. Unmarked portion is not affected by any other record transaction. So uh, all aspects of what they found is illustrated on here, and you see a stamp for the 15th of November. Regional uh, Land Office Justice, Land Admin Officer, so that's uh, that paper. I need to get an original copy of it when I get there and make sure everything is good. So look, look out for that one and let's see what else we have. So the plan of land, uh, not even something I can even read through, even as big as the screen is. Um, very small, and that's another documentation. I just got to literally get a better, get the real copy of so I can just make sure we scan it right and get it to everybody looking good. But uh, uh, you begin to see information with our documentation, and that's based on what you are doing when you begin to start one of these projects, you want to make sure that all these things are crossed because most of the time we're getting involved in projects where we don't know who did what before because a lot of times people are not explaining that and telling us what's going on. So the goal is to show you everything. So 
you and you're processing it and you see certain things we can talk and discuss about it so we're going to be working on the different uh, groups that we need to work on certain things and those things are still just being worked out so just want everybody just to be patient with us that you see something that you can do um, go ahead and work on it um, but as far as us working on the list of things and the other committees uh, it's still a work in progress because we still need to know what we need to connect people with because once but before we do that we need to be clear on you know these things that we're reviewing all right so that is that one all right i was able to do a nice little zoom and the good thing about this when i get to ghana we have the, the, the professionals who know how to explain this in details explain this uh so that's another thing also look to get recorded videos of these explanations to make it a little clearer for us to share with people all right so uh the survey duly picked Plot, uh, plotted 23.67 acres of land for search to be conducted on the same primary to determine whether the chief of Jassy has authority and right to alienate the said land to us. Right. Right. So this is just the detailed explanation in the land search. Uh, such searches are conducted at Lands Commission Cape Coast and results show that indeed the land under the consideration is vested and the land with the mark portion A is B. All right, so um, in the newsletter, um, the explanation I was given is a little more detailed, so you can look at it um, and literally still trying to process a lot of this terminology and detail. So we're going to be, me and a few people are going to be talking about it, so we can just make sure we break it down good and be able to get a better explanation from the lawyer once we also talk and meet again. So before we talk about legal search uh, being completed by a lawyer, uh, so all of this is just the, uh, the legal land search information, um, uh, three, four, and five. And uh, once we're clear on all these uh, legal details, the next goal is to literally pay the rest of the money for the land so we can actually get the land indenture. All right, so perfect. So that is um, land survey and land search, and then also the name, um, which we'll put more in a corporate setup. But we have the name already set up by the lawyer to where we can just use, you, you know, use our community name. Uh, so that's also opened us up if we need to get certain things going like bank accounts and things like that so this is really just building the foundation so what I want to do is uh, to not just hold everybody in talking let me just uh, open the line up so we can let me just um, I can just hear from other people uh, so family uh, it is star six to unmute yourself and what we're talking about is the uh, land search and uh, land survey and just the details in the first uh, five uh, points on the uh, newsletter all right hopefully everybody's not all shot tonight all right, start so with yourself. Uh, go ahead, Kim. Um, first, I want to say thank you very much for all that you're doing for us. I did take the time because, as you know, I've just gotten out of the hospital and I read through every word. And I didn't find any errors. I didn't find any problems with anything that I read. And I just want to compliment you that this is completely different than the last time we were here at this stage. And I, all I can say is just thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay. we're, not, we're not all cut from the same cloth as far as wanting to make this work. It's like a lot of the time we want things to work, but it's like it's a whole different story. Be willing to do what it takes to work to make sure that your, your brothers and sisters are accommodated and everything. And, you know, that's what we do as a business. Uh, take people around different parts of Africa and just accommodate everyone to the highest level. Uh, we got to be able to just do things for us and, not have like the snottish British uh, mindset. Uh, so those folks, they're gonna, you know, um, you know, they had their chance, and you know, and we supported them to the highest level, and you know, it was moving our direction, moving the direction that needs to move. So we just have to do what we need to do, and I'm glad everybody feel a lot better because that's what I'm about, and the folks that we're working, we want to make sure that things are and clear and, and and be transparent with everyone so everyone can see everything developed from the ground up not like i'll put someone put this together and say hey you know and and that's for me that's also the biggest difference well for me everything's looking good so far so thank you absolutely and look forward to your journey with us to ghana in uh, may of next may week. correct and if you had and, and if that's uh if you want to have some more fun you can join us in november also to south africa Oh, I was just in South Africa last uh, November, and I concur with everything you said earlier. 
I don't need to go back to South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a part time person. I'll take you to South Africa just so I can get you to Ghana. But I I have enjoyed your upload. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I try to pull up balance of videos because you know, like I had some great videos on Constitution Hill Prison, and it was like I was like I was like I hope people I'm like here comes this Bomani guy again. Uh, with his oppression videos, <laughs> but it's like <laughs> part of our life and things are, you know, is a certain part of a struggle, and you know, you're trying to push black empowerment, but you're trying to connect it with a certain struggle, and you know, link it to where you know we need to go. But um, now I enjoy sharing those videos uh, because you know, number one is this educational, and the fact that you know, everywhere you go, whichever country, or island, or country or continent uh, you go that has a black energy, you, you, you deal with that, and you see the strength of our people rise up. And I saw some folks that uh, like, we can pull off this community. Based on what we as a people have been through, <laughs> we can uh, definitely do this, you know, the same as Correct. things that pull off is just, you know, work in union and, you know, and to stick together for survival. Uh, so I do that as a way to push our will and things like that and to let folks know that all this rainbow nation and all this multiculturalism isn't what it's all said to be because it's like instead of a, you know, nation of people everywhere oppressed why you know, while other folks can do certain things, so uh, but I also got you know, I got some good holiday and uh tourism stuff, you know. The cable cars are my favorite and it's like launching off in a rocket in the sky. But uh, nevertheless, uh Kim, uh um anything else you'd like to share with this project? I uh, know, I'm I'm wondering though when are you gonna start marketing it to other people? Oh yeah, After yeah. Can we get going? Um, it's been we have a lot of people that's continuously joining the Facebook group and reaching out, uh, so it's going good. But it's like uh, it's no big deal to push it across to all over the place. Uh, we have more than the people that we need to actually make the project work because it's only 23 acres of land. Even though we can get a lot more, we want to at least build a nice foundation. And once we start doing the videos and things like that, um, you know, that's your market right there and things like that. Especially when when I get back, I feel you know a lot better once I go there and meet the people in the community and things like that, uh, then you really can, then you can feel better about pushing it. Other than that, we're kind of like organizing information. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. So family line is open. Just want to uh, get um, other feedback from the documents that were sent um, and, and then the direction we're moving at and then just uh, see where you think you know, we should go or if we're going the right direction or if we're missing any steps or anything. Just looking for um, uh, everyone uh, input so I don't just talk and read over the information that was you know, typed up nice and neat and sent. Hello. Uh, greetings, Doc. Can you state your name? We are calling from your question. Yeah, this is Brother Taharka from Jersey. Can you hear me? Uh, greetings, Dr. Taharka. I can hear you loud and clear. Guide with your question. Okay. This is, my, this is actually my first call. Um, but I have been reading through some of the information that you have been forwarding to me. Um, the, one of the questions I, I just wanted to clarify, the, the initial 23 acres is, in, in that section A, does that mean that it has been reduced to 15 acres actually because the, the A section has been uh, leased to the, the revival group? What's, what's that status? Yeah, another thing that led us to just find out and get a full detailed explanation from the surveyors, and that's why I wanted a video interview with them. Um, oh, okay. All that stuff is like French, Spanish, Greek, all that other mess to me. Um, <laughs> so depending on other people also to look at it um, for clarity. Uh, so um, you know, well, so I'll, I'll make a note of that question uh, so that way I don't give you the wrong information. Okay. And, I'll definitely and, and, and so... For me to move forward with with the project because I I really appreciate and, and am impressed about the work that's being done, and and so for me to get the document, I guess I'll send you the email to get all the documents so I could the application and everything, and uh, you know, I guess one of the questions is is there any initial contribution or investment for the membership for the project to to get more actively involved. Uh, what, you have to do, what you have to do is fill out the application and, and put down the $500 deposit. That's what goes towards making the project work. So when you look at the, um, the project overview, it will talk about uh, 
payment, cancellation, uh, deposit, and things like that. So um, the, the mo most important thing is to read through the that eight page um, presentation. So that's what's on email. So and once you send me the, the request, I'll just make sure I get it to you via email. And same thing for everyone else. That's the most important thing to read um, and um, break down everything else. Okay. All right. I appreciate that, bro. Keep up the work. Absolutely. I appreciate the energy, and we'll and then we'll keep on building that documentation. At family, the line is open. Star six to uh, unmute yourself. So anyone that's interested, that's what you have to do. Fill out the application, um, and um, once you fill it out, just print it out and sign it, uh, or you can just uh, sign the signature and send the um, application digitally. Uh, yes, Bamani. This is uh, Leonard and Carmen. Uh, uh, greetings. Um, uh, greetings. Are you? Uh, yeah. My question is, um, I know you had sent an email the other day. I'm just now looking at it now, so this is all new to us. Sounds great, though. But I'm sure in the documents, I'll read them after the uh, session's over. But uh, is there a deadline if you're interested in this? No, there's no deadline. There's no beginning. It's we're just organizing documentation. It's um, and just trying to keep everybody posted with the fact that uh, we're working on the 23 acres so we can build our community. So the land survey has been completed. The land and search has been completed. The name has been, the name has been organized. Um, receipts of the deposit have been made. So you know the basic stuff. Um, and then we have a few more things that we need to get the land checked out. So, uh, and then when I get to uh, Ghana, I'll get the original documentation and put it together and just get it out to everyone. So that's all we're really doing is talking about the project and as we, we came from one project that you know, these things weren't organized and we weren't clear if certain things were done. So to start something fresh so everyone can see from the ground up. So we, have, you know, we all have plenty, plenty of time. And a realistic time where we can really start moving forward is when we come out from Ghana in January and then we have literally everything together to say that everything is in order, it's together. Um, plots are available now. Uh, but for the meantime, anyone interested can fill out the application and look through the process because uh, the background check, I think, may take a, a few weeks for most people. Okay. Um, my next question is probably in this information, and forgive me for not having reviewed it already, but uh, what area of Ghana is this particular property located in? Uh, it's in Winneba. It's um, in the uh, central region. It's uh, an hour and a half away from Cape Coast and an hour and a half away from Accra. So once we leave, we will spend four days in Accra. Once we leave from Accra, we usually go to Kumasi, but we're going to actually go to the central region. So uh, about I want to have two hours into the ride, uh, we're going to end up on the property, and then that's going to be a part of our actual tour. It's spend about three hours there, hopefully two hours on that property and one hour on the beach, and go through everything. And maybe not that long, but um, an in-depth presentation, and then we'll go to um, Cape Coast, Elmina, One Africa. Okay, is that close to Kasawa? Uh, that's right by Kasawa. It's about uh, 15 minutes from Kasawa, and it's also right there by the big mall. It's in a per actual perfect location. It's hard to find something like this, but uh, that's that's what I let myself do. You know, we we go do the research and find and, and find these things. And people are already talking that you know they're looking forward to more of us coming there and. I want to talk to the the people or the community that are responsible for the beach and let's see what they're looking to do and see if I can you know, reach out to people who want to do business uh, with you know, beach access and do beach investment. So, you know, it's something okay. that we need to connect to where we can actually offer people some real investments and some real connection um, that we know that's organized. Cause okay, sounds uh, great, and uh, we're very interested. I'm going to read through everything, and if I have any Further questions, I will email you later. Right, absolutely. Uh, it's good talking with you, and you take care. All right, Sammy, so I've been going through the uh, newsletter, so looking okay. to get questions in reference to what we just talked about. Hey, Bamani, this is Barbara. Hey, greetings, Barbara. How are you? I'm good. Well, I didn't really have a question. I just wanted to say that, um, of course, I, I don't know if you know that Renee, Renee is in um, – Ghana now, and she wanted she wanted to be on the call. But I think with the time difference, it was going to be a little bit difficult for her. Amazing. Oh, yes, she did, uh, inform me, and uh, she, she's going to be connected with our lawyer, 
and I confirmed yeah. with our lawyer that uh, she's a part of our, our group and she's looking to look, take, take a look at the land. So uh, that's perfect. And then I'm sure when I get there to Ghana, I'll be able to connect with her. And hopefully yeah. she can come with us to do the land tour. So I appreciate that. And, um, and hopefully yourself or someone else that's working with the bylaw group can give some updates. Uh, that's another thing also uh, for the, anyone who's working on your project to share with the rest of us. We'll make sure we get something out to you uh, as soon as possible. Not, not me. I'm talking about like on the conference call. The conference call we have is for us to update each other also. Okay. Say what okay, on. okay. So, so right now would be a good time to give update. If not right now, but even sometime on this call from someone, you or anyone that's uh, working on it. And the same for anyone else, all family that's working on any project. Because um, I don't want to just read over all the stuff that I sent via email. We're halfway, we're over halfway through um, revamping the bylaws for our particular um, community, and it's coming along real well. I think Toya and Doria, I'm not sure if they're on the lines or not. They could probably add a little bit more than I. Um, Lassen is, Lassen Talib, he's also, I think he's, still in Ghana now, and Renee is going to be hooking up with him in the next day or two to kind of go over something so we can get back to the group. So, and because I haven't, you know, talked with anyone, I don't want to put too much out there because I'm, you know, I don't know <laughs> what, but it, we're, we're coming along and we're meeting and everything is coming along real well. Uh, perfect. Uh, and to let everyone know, um, the bylaws are just, you know, what it is. We're putting these things together, and um, it's a few, few people, and we, you know, we're just all looking over everything. So, as I was saying to a, a few other people, we're just really in a state of gathering information because that's the best thing to do. Um, and but at the same time, too, we have everything in place to where application can be filled out and people can move forward. So, so perfect. So I'm hoping that um, by by beginning of next year, all of us have everything together as far as some detail to get everybody clear of the, the laws and everything so we can just all move forward and, and hopefully all of that keep us all connected. Absolutely. Have a good evening. Absolutely. The family line is open. Anyone have any questions in reference to what we're talking about? Which is uh, building a beautiful 23-acre Black Star repatriation and Pan-African community. And we have a nice community overview that I updated and just uh, edited some of the uh, details. And uh, that's available for everyone to read through it. And what that's going to give you, general community overview, location and GPS coordinates, prime objective, business opportunities, building and buying homes, land and administrative costs, getting started, background check, requirements and payment, cancellation and refund, membership rules, and code of conduct, or codes of conduct. So those are things that we literally uh, everything is clearer and we just uh, as much transparency in, in the project as possible. That way no one can say that we didn't talk about this and things like that. So that's what frustrated me about the last project is like you, when you start doing certain things, you make it seem like you're making it up as you go along. So put all the documentation together and let everyone get a chance to read and process it. And I think that's the fairest thing to do. And since we're doing this as a group, Whatever you see that's not clear, not right, you can discuss and fix because the goal is to have something nice and finalized, especially at the beginning of the year, for any of our brothers and sisters who want to uh, make this move. All right, so family line is open for questions. I have 24 people. All right, so if no one have any questions, uh, this will be a very short call, but um, there are a few things I can go over, but it's just all stuff in email. Hi, I do have a question. This is Phoebe from Alaska. Hi, right, greetings, uh, Phoebe. Hi, and I'm Uriah from Alaska as well. This is our second call. Um, we tuned into a call, I think, back in March or April. And at that time, I, we, we haven't, um, you know, been keeping uh, track of the development, so um, we're just getting back into the loop. And um, my question is, uh, the previous project at Garveytown, um, there was certain requirements um, uh, that the landowner um, 
had, uh, say, like um, a medical facility, a school that needed to be built, um, are there similar require, requirements for this project? Um, and also there was the 99-year lease. Um, is that also something that um, is similar? Uh, this one is 50-year lease. Um, they, had, they, they worked out something with, um, with, uh, with a lease they were able to work out. But the land that we're dealing with is going to be registered land, and it's our land. Everyone will be able to have the legal paperwork of, of, you know, of their plot and everything. Um, and Garvey Town weren't willing to do those things. And it's a, like, there's certain things a little different, but the, the main thing about this project is that the, the, it's 50 year lease for this project. Uh, and other project would, um, was 99 year lease, but um, they had a different situation. The city are renewable, and I'm sure once you get your citizenship, that can change to 99 years. Uh, once you hit 50 years, are you able to renew, or is there possible restrictions on that? Can they say, no, you cannot renew the property? Uh, we're creating an automatic renewal system uh, based on our agreement with the uh, community and the landowner. Okay, and you can pass that down to your children? Uh, absolutely, that's the purpose of what we're doing. Everything is about legacy in the future. Other than that, it's a waste of time doing anything. They, you know, they're clear on that, um, and we're just making sure all our paperwork is like that. But yeah, this is for the future of us as a people. We've been, you know, um, a lot of the uh, resources that we have here, or we have from other countries, we can invest it in a, in a, in a straight black country like this, and you know, make it work for us, and then. Uh, there's plenty of land for factories and plenty of land for a bigger commercial area. Uh, so it's something I feel good about. I've been uh, driving around Ghana for the last 13 years, um, trying to connect with different people, trying to find something that works for us and, you know, something that people like myself, you know, as you generate business uh, you know, revenue and things, you want to invest in something viable. I think this is it right there. Um, as far as the schools, uh, their situation was is like, kind of like selling your soul to the devil. It's like uh, someone has land and you don't have all the money to pay for the land, so you pay some money and then you offer whatever you else you can offer. But it's like my thing is I like, don't speak for me and put me in that situation. If you're going to do that, make sure I'm clear on it. Uh, so they made deals to get certain things to build a you know, medical center and you know, some people just are yes people, but you got to think about but can you really accomplish that. So the medical mm -hmm. facility or anything like that that you see in our paperwork is for our own use, which is not just for our own use. So, uh, it's available for the, the community, but it's not a situation where we're going to ask for a reduce of payments for the land and say we're going to build something that we're not going to build. And then in that case, you know, it's a breach of, you know, it's a breach of the situation. Uh, so everything that we have laid out is just independent. And even the schools that we're building and looking to contribute to, it's out of our own energy, and it's not like, you know, because I don't think we should force ourselves to do certain things. It's like if, if, you know, if we just want to do it in our heart and want to do it for our purpose and the purpose of our extended community. And you know, so the project that we're writing is based on us having a lot of these conversations about uh, what we should do, and at the same time to people who want to build mansions or want to build whatever they want to build or want several plots of land don't want to turn them away or push them out because it doesn't make sense to do that because they're basically an investor times seven, which is what you really need. You need, you know, you know you, beyond the individual people, you need people who could come in as group or people want to do more. So those are a lot of the difference. Uh, and the way that they operate is like they'll be there for another 100 years. Looking, you know, we have a momentum and chance to move forward, and that's what this energy is about. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. At family, the line is open. All right, as we move down to the uh, other part of the, um, the newsletter, overview of the foundation to build this community. So we do have the link uh, in there that uh, say Facebook groups, Ghana Repatriation oh. Initiative uh, videos. So those videos basically show you the, the raw videos that we have on the land and then the, the videos that we have that take you to the beach. So we're pushing this as a beach access community uh, with the beach access investment. And then you go further down on the uh, newsletter, and um, a good brother, our consultant, uh, Kwab Nabaka, connected with the land and 
was able to do you know, field research for us and put it together where we were able to get 100 by 80 feet of land or 8,000 square feet of land for $1,500, uh, which is very reasonable in that area. So we were able to work it out to where the price was reduced to that because that's, it's about $2,000 in that area for land, especially you know you get close to the beach. I right, could cool. meet you, and if you have any questions, just unmute yourself and um, just um, name your question. Uh, also, when you scroll down, um, even on the uh, overview, you know, you have the GPS link. So the goal in these documentations is to give you numbers and figures and locations. What we're building a project, uh, you can, uh, other people will have homes and um, you know, things available. So we're encouraging people, those who want to build apartments and things like that, um, find a location for you to build those things. And then as you build them, those could be homes available uh, for those who are trying to get things set up. But uh, in the community and also there's, you know, there's a hotel that's called a Rock Top Beach Hotel. Uh, those are places you can stay at uh, for extended stay if you want to be around an area. And then um, I guess maybe some people can camp out for a little bit. But, um, but, and then ultimately it's all up to individuals. All right, so everything I'm reading through is this thing that we just saying that we've gotten done in this many land search land survey. All right, so uh, the um, the owner uh, of the land is a law, a court a magistrate, and paramount chief of the town. His name is Nana Achiko. Uh, so uh, this tool is set to where, you know, a part of the Efutu traditional council. So that's one of the things I like that um, it's, a, it's a council that we're dealing with also is beyond this, this individual. And um, basically get to the, the more of the stories. We're dealing with people who, who don't have time to play games with, cheating or scamming you for land because it's an embarrassment and it's a dishonor to what they, they, have, could, they have vowed to connect with. So that's honestly literally the only reason why I would move on any project is because of people who are involved in it and who, you know, like, none of us have anything to lose and none of us want our name bad or anything. Uh, obviously, the people who work with before don't care about their name and their reputation. Uh, so that's what was going to make this uh, done right. And also, they don't feel like enough energy has been coming towards that area as far as you know, Africans and that's for connecting because most of what you hear is going to be Accra or Cape Coast uh, slash Elmina. Uh, and then, you know, the thing that connect is the, the, sorry, the ocean is right in and you also have a lake and all of this is in great proximity and then the, the good thing about it, you're right there by the main road. So you're not where you just have to do a long drive off and things like that. So all the documentation that we have on here is just to literally give you full details of these things and now that we just have the full details we're just looking for everyone to fill out membership application or sending additional questions for clarity and we get started and the main thing is just the deposit um, and once you get everything else going you know we'll make sure you get your land paperwork and you know we just keep together and then uh, for those who are communicating and connecting now uh, we just add you to the WhatsApp page those who are ready to move forward and join our energy we have a small nice group already that uh, we've been building for a while so uh, we're just basically looking to not skip a beat and as we reroute from that project just kind of keep things going and getting to go and making making sure things are strong and organized and we keep in union and this be as transparent as possible so uh, whenever we send these documents out um, asking everyone please just take your time read through it jot questions down uh, if you see any flaws any mistakes help us out with it um, it's just something that we're doing our best to organize as possible. And uh, that's not what we do professionally as a people, but we are professional organizers. But uh, the real estate uh, game in Ghana is just something that we have I've been learning for a long time. And it's tricky in certain aspects. Um, and that's why I say that I feel good about what we're dealing with because we're dealing with people that are part of the legal system that um, un yeah. understand that we all have to just make sure that we legally do the right thing because you know, none of them or none of us want to you know, end up in jail for this land problems or, and things like that. Uh, it's something that the government is trying to cut down on and we're going to use this as an energy to just recommend people just go this route and um, you know, make sure that you have your, your lawyers and your, your consultant and people who have your vested interest to make sure this project works. All right, and as I scroll down, you just see some photos of us just, um, just connecting, talking about land and the previous groups of energy we have. So all these group energy of people that we have traveled to Africa is to connect us to the continent. And I know not everybody is going to want to live and do business during uh, Ghana. 
but at the same time too, it's something that we're sharing and exposing to you that way you can open your minds and almost sure that most people when you get a good exposure of this energy of what we're looking to build that works for us, you know, it take you outside that mindset of dealing with the trap that we're in in America as far as it's the individual mindset and energy in this to where we never get a chance to build things as communal as we should. So um, and just take us to a place and take us to an energy where we can focus on that. So family, that's all I have for you. Um, and, for, and like I said, for those who haven't read through the stuff, read through it. And for those who need email requests, send it. And I'll do my best to work on trying to get all of this as a finalized on the website to where you can just click on a link and then you see everything nice and in detail. And the same thing with the paperwork. I want to make sure that we get them all scanned to where we can put them on the uh, website and just and open things up. Um, and the good thing about it, if we really get this 23 acres locked down and built up, um, and I'll show, this, show it on the video when we get there and record, show that you know, we have a lot more land available and we can do a lot more projects. And we want to be the people to get things set up to where anyone need additional land or need anything, they can really just come to us and we can just really just begin the energy of just representing our folks to the highest levels and make sure you know, our people are taken care of that way, uh, you know, we don't, you know, we don't lose our momentum of what we build into a small minor minority of negative people who, you know, whenever we try to do things, the people that's getting getting our way of uh, us progressing. All right, so family, uh, that is it. I've gone. Bomani. Good. Um, what's your name and your questions? Hi, Bomani. This is Karen from Japan. How are you? Uh, greetings, uh, Karen. How are you? I'm good. Um, just real quick, I just wanted to say that this is my first conference call. Um, I appreciate inviting me and making the opportunity available. Um, I appreciate that this is much more organized than the stuff I was seeing. Some of the videos and things, I kind of got the feeling that um, maybe that other project hadn't been completely developed. And so this is, this is a much better, uh, better organized uh, way of doing this, I think. Um, one question I have, though, is there going to be, once, once the land is made available to us to start development, will there be a time limit on um, when projects need to be started and completed? Uh, yes, uh, three or five years. I want everyone to at least start their project uh, within three years and finish it by uh, five years or have it up to limited condition within five years. So some of those uh, things are the same as the previous project, but this is a little more flexible as far as. And then um, the reality of it is um, if someone is not willing to build or ready to build, we know we can just put them further back and keep on putting them further back of the development. Okay, thank you. All right, family. Um, so we're building this energy to for our new community and feel good about this. Um, you know, it takes a while to build these experiences, but you know, a lot of our experience comes from the hands of you know, fallen soldiers. Uh, so we thank them for their contributions and we keep on moving the forward strong, but uh, this, this operation is, uh, is complex, so you know, we all have to share and assist each other in building this community. And I don't know if anyone is a professional community developer, but you know, we're open to connecting with those people. And yeah, the goal naturally is to, uh, the money that we collect for administrative costs is also to organize professionals, uh, make sure souls uh, tested, make sure all aspects of the, the community work and you know, put us in a good program to where we can get the things that we need to get uh, completed, uh, straight just organized project manage management. So we'll have a lot more to talk about family at um, the beginning of the year when we have all this other documentation and Beyond that, uh, I'll be just updating you via email like once in a while and looking out for um, emails to send documentation to answer certain questions. So not to keep everyone, uh, we've been on for about an hour. Uh, so leave, leave the call open for another minute and see if anybody has have any questions. All right, so family, uh, everybody take care. I'm going to go get me some rest. Half of my mind, body, and soul is still on that plane and still there in, uh, still there in Africa. So trying to get all my energy back here so I can get us ready for Ghana and um, looking forward to sharing everybody all of the highlights so everyone take care good night I'm, I'm everyone
Uh, good night, family. Enjoy your beautiful rest of your Sunday, and see you for the next conference call, the beginning of the year. And stay tuned.